Student loan forgiveness has been blocked by a judge in Texas. I'm going to give you the latest updates. This just unfolding earlier this week. And also, now the Biden administration has stopped accepting applications for student loan forgiveness. All the other times that it had been opposed, they continued to say, submit your applications full speed ahead. Now they're saying they're pausing it. I'm going to get you all the latest updates and the news reports unfolding. This is your breaking news update. Now, as you guys know, here on the channel, I keep you up to date on stimulus checks, child tax credits, social security increases, student loan debt forgiveness, and everything going on with the economy. If you want to stay up to date, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button for me. Before we dive in, I'm going to share with you the official website and also let me know your thoughts on this because the tune has changed. It happens right after midterm elections. Now that votes have been submitted, do you think they're going to continue to push to get this done? Let me know your thoughts, you guys. But let's go ahead and take a look at this video footage that came out the news reports on this breaking news. Good morning, Carl. The Biden administration has stopped accepting new applications to forgive up to $20,000 in student loans for each borrower after that federal judge in Texas struck down the plan, calling it unconstitutional. After two borrowers who did not qualify for relief sued the government, arguing the process was arbitrary and unlawful. The White House press secretary in a statement saying the administration degrees with, disagrees with the district court's ruling and that the Department of Justice has filed an appeal. The education the education department three weeks ago had paused disbursements after a separate judge asked for time to evaluate whether the program should proceed. The president pushed forward with the relief program, which boosted his favorability with voters, despite economists like former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers warning it would worsen inflation. The White House says 26 million borrowers have applied for forgiveness and 16 million applications have been accepted. There you have it. And when you go to the actual website for yourself, be sure to go to studentaid.gov. That is the official website. Please avoid all of these student loan forgiveness scams that are taking place right now. Phone calls and all sorts of things, you guys. Please only go to the official website. I'll put a link in the description below. One-time federal student loan debt relief. And you can see, if we scroll down just a little bit, application process in yellow. It says student loan debt relief is blocked. This is the first time this has come up on the website and it says courts have issued orders blocking our student debt relief program. As a result, at this time, we are not accepting applications. We are seeking to overturn those orders. So this is huge because this is the first time that this has come up. There have been other oppositions to it and they continue to say, just keep submitting your applications. And you can see it's up for $20,000 of debt relief for federal Pell Grants and $10,000 in debt relief for uh, non-federal Pell Grants as well. So this was going to take effect. However, it has now officially been blocked, which means that this is likely going to be stretching out here for quite some time, probably several months before we get an official ruling on this. Now, let me know your thoughts on this. We also heard that this was going to be $400 billion of additional spending that would take place to wipe out this student loan debt. It doesn't just go away. Uh, the money has to come from somewhere to pay off the debt. And they're saying it would be $400 billion, which would spark even further inflation issues. As you know, we are in a 40-year high in inflation and our economy is suffering. Let me know your thoughts. Should this be something that gets done, uh, despite the fact that it could cause further inflation? Uh, the president had already made these promises. Should they be fulfilled? Should they not be fulfilled? And I've heard a lot of people make the argument that $400 billion, that is enough to send out a $1,400 stimulus check. And there is still the promises left of the $2,000 stimulus checks, and that would have a price tag of roughly uh, a little bit more than that. So a lot of people have been saying, you know what, instead of sending out the student loan debt forgiveness, uh, why don't you go ahead and send out more stimulus checks instead, if you're gonna do something. Uh, and the other issue is the way in which this was done. And we had heard from the beginning, the president saying that he wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to do this by executive action. I believe we had heard Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi say the president did not have the authority to do this yet they went ahead and did it. Uh, and that is because Congress holds the power of the purse. New funds must be issued and allocated by Congress. It has to be agreed upon with legislation by the House and the, Con and the Senate. And the president issuing out is not a possibility. However, reallocation of existing funds is possible, has been done several times before with other presidents as well, including former President Donald Trump with the LWA program. And they're saying uh, he could have done that, tapped into the existing funds. 
So we will see, let me know your thoughts. Now, in addition to that, uh, this is the first time that it's been opposed and they have decided that they're gonna close applications since the midterm elections. Prior to the midterm elections, they continued to tell people to continue to submit their applications. Do you think, this might be a cynical perspective, let me know in the comments down below, that they were continuing on like it was gonna take place so they could secure those votes uh, as voters thought that they were gonna get money wiped off that debt. And then now that they've got those votes, are they gonna continue to push for it? Or do you think now that they've got the votes, there's gonna be less of a push to provide additional provisions to help out people? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now we're gonna be seeing what unfolds here. I reported to you earlier that the Senate it is official. Democrats will maintain control. They've got the 50 seats that they need. They might even have 51. We're going to be finding out next month in the Georgia Senate runoff elections. And we're still waiting to see what's going to be unfolding in the House of Representatives, which as it currently stands, it looks like it might be a Republican House, but we will see. And that could change up the entire dynamic if we have a split Congress. Right now, we have seen for the past two years, Democrats in full control presidency, the House, and the Senate pushing through their Democratic agenda items. Uh, only resistance is that in the Senate, there are some moderate Democrats that are not on board with a lot of the progressive items that have tried to push through, like stimulus checks, child tax credits, social security increases. Uh, but now with 51 in the Senate, and if they take the House, uh, that could be huge, and we could see a lot of their agenda items start to roll out. But with a split Congress, we will see. Uh, we're still waiting to see what happens. Uh, that would stop a lot of their agenda items from happening. But I will keep you guys up to date every step of the way. But again, be sure to check out the website, federalstudentaid.gov. I will keep you up to date as more information rolls out. And this is huge. The president's executive actions being blocked by a federal judge in Texas, uh, which means we will just have to wait and see. Uh, but I'll keep you up to date on everything as it rolls out. But you guys, that is the latest. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far, haven't already, don't forget, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. It's totally free. Don't forget SNAP and PEBT benefits still rolling out as we are in a state of emergency announced by the president. That's going to be going on until at least February of 2023. I will keep you up to date on that. Check out the latest video on that if you missed it. And like I said, stimulus checks, child tax credits, social security increases, anything that's going on with our economy, stimulus provisions, anything that can help you out, I'll keep you up to date. If you want a comprehensive list of every stimulus check in the nation, be sure to check out www.reliefroadmap.com where I've assembled a list of over a hundred different stimulus checks available right now on state, city, and county levels. And again, thank you for all the support on my kids' channel, Liam and Naya. If you're interested, check it out. Uh, they're releasing new videos. If you got little ones, I hope they enjoy it. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.